Snow, and this is Gas and Go. Welcome back to Gas and Go with Snow. All right, this is our, our 4th of July edition. Dan, man, it's good to see you, brother, see as you always. Too. Yeah. Thanks for coming so out. So today, we're out here in Southern California, Coronado Island. This is an amazing place to be, right by the Naval Air Station. So it doesn't get more American than this little spot right here. Now, we're gonna talk about something that is not American. <laughs> Dan, tell me about this. What are we looking at right here? So this is a 1966 Jaguar XKE without a leaky motor in it anymore. Well, what, what, what do you mean without a leaky motor? It's what did you do to this classic Jag? Well, we, we uh, converted this to EV and uh, gave it a little bit more power and gave it a little less uh, drips, so. Wow, now I know you definitely improve reliability when you go from ICE to EV, but how much more power did it add to the car? I mean, it didn't add, it didn't add that much more power. It was about 50 more horsepower than original. I could have gotten a bigger motor, but, mm -hmm. but decided to keep it kind of more original. And it's about a second faster than it was new. Yeah. Well, um, that's significant when you're talking about, you know, yeah. 50 horsepower. Yeah, um, still a 58-year-old well, car, so. Let's let's check out under the hood. Right. I mean, I, I just wanted to get right to it. I mean, you know what? I believe you were telling me, I, I read an article, they were talking about this is the, the most beautiful design ever, and it was, was it Enzo? Enzo Ferrari that yep. said it was the, the most beautiful car ever designed? I'm like scared to touch it, it's so nice. <laughs> wow. Now, I'm looking at, it says powered by Electrogenic. I don't know of a company in America called Electrogenic. What can you tell me about them? So this is a, a English company that has designed a full plug and play kit mm -hmm. uh, for Jaguars and a couple other types of cars where there's no cuts, there's no drilling. It's fully reversible back to uh, the original ICE engine, and uh, so that's what we decided to do here. Yeah. Now, okay, that's pretty impressive. So a couple things I want to point out is if you look at this, it maintains the same general lines and shape of the original ICE engine, but everything fits in here so nice and so neatly, and not that I doubt it, because I was with you when they, when they were doing this, but you said no cuts. This is designed to drop right in with original mounting bolts, That's original right. position. Right. That's right. So the motor, you can see it's down in here. Maybe you can't see it on the mm -hmm. on Yeah, the I can camera. see it right there. Yeah. And the rest of it's really batteries in the controller. Okay. And how big is the battery pack? I mean, uh, the battery we, pack on this one is about 46 kilowatts, I think. And this is a pretty slippery car, so 46 kilowatts probably gets you what? Oh, man, 150, almost 200 miles? Yeah, they said 120 to, one, uh, 120 to 150 on this. Yeah. Well, that's more than enough to ride around Coronado Island, That's huh? right. That's right. All right. <laughs> so how about the trunk? I mean, um, in most of the EV conversions that we've done, we end up putting batteries and yeah, all kinds are, of stuff in the there trunk. There are batteries, but they are hidden. Um, I definitely want to talk about the, the interior too. But so oh, the batteries man. are, they, they put them underneath under this, here, yeah. under here. So you can't, unless you take it apart, you can't really see them, but there's half the batteries back in here where okay. the gas tank used to be. So, yeah, they, so if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't know that there was anything in there. That's right, that's right. Okay, well, let's talk about the interior because from what I'm looking at, man, this looks pretty stock. The interior is basically how it was uh, originally. The difference is the uh, the transmission was replaced with a new drivetrain, mm -hmm. and so now the uh, manual four-speed that used to be here is now okay. replaced with a with a gear selector, and that's about the only giveaway that it's an EV. So yeah. all well, the yeah, other because everything else looks one hundred percent. All stock. the rest is the original instrumentation. So now these are the original instruments, and then they just did a digital kind of a analog converter. So the, 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 fu the fuel gauge. Okay. now uh, determines how much battery life there is left. 
the tachometer serves as a as a slight tachometer but not not uh, doesn't function exactly the same way speedometer right. obviously okay and then you also have uh, like the region gauge that's right so yeah, the tack okay. will show your region it'll go down when you re when you okay. let your foot off the off the accelerator all right man now how long did it take to you know get the car painted restore get it ready to accept the electrogenic package well, the car was uh, painted last summer, so it okay. kind of sat for a while um, waiting for the kit. So I ordered the kit in September of mm -hmm. last year. I got it in March, and they uh, put it in in 10 days. And Wait, hold uh, on. We can't gloss over that. So you're telling <laughs> me this car went from, uh, you know, the stock chassis to fully EV in 10 days. 10 days. So we could have done it probably just as quick with the original ICE engine, they could have lifted it out in the transmission. It just, right. I was having it painted, so that's mm -hmm. why I had the engine pulled at that time. But they could have done it in the same, you know, probably same a day or frame. two extra, yeah. So they've said well, they've done impressive. it as, as little as two days before with in a full crew, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. The, we met two guys. So two guys did this in 10 days. That's right. Well, and they were documenting impressive. it for the United States, so okay. there was a lot of downtime that they were teaching the techs here how to okay. how to work on this. So. so now the kit, I'm sure it'll be a little bit different because you got you know left hand drive versus right hand drive, right? Right. And I imagine some of the equipment would be on this side as opposed to where it's. You know, now, I haven't but... seen the British version in person, so yeah. I, I'm not sure exactly where how different the parts are, but I yeah. would imagine they're fairly the same. Yeah. So well the install is just so clean. It, yeah, it's it really it's amazing is. how nice it came out. Last time I saw the car it was all in pieces That's and right. they were installing the, the motor. But right. man, this is really impressive. Yeah. So they, now the radiator, I noticed you got a huge radiator on there. Uh, that seems a little overkill. So is that, that is something for that's new for the Phoenix? car. So that that was something that they wanted for battery cooling. And okay, so right. that is a new radiator that they ordered. So I do have the old radiator okay. if I ever converted back to ice, but that right. is a brand new radiator. Yeah. It, it goes with the ice version as well, but they use yeah. it to cool the batteries. Well, and now the reason I, I imagine you have the overkill on cooling, it just hit me when we were talking about this, the DC fast charging. Yes. That's why you need to amp up the battery cooling because that's when these batteries are gonna get the hottest is when it's doing the fast charging. Yeah. So, but with that being said, one more thing I wanna point out. I love the way the fact that you kept this looking as original as possible. And right here, we open up the, the gas door and there's our charge ports. So you have your standard J1772 connection and the CCS, the DC fast charging. So they, they did a phenomenal job on the placement, the fit and finish. This is, this is a really nice job. Yeah. Well, Dan, I think there's one thing left to do, man. We got to go for a ride, brother. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you have like a whole startup sequence or can you just get in and go? Yeah. So there's about a... 15, 20 second uh, startup recess. So you go ahead and turn the key. You can see the gauges starting to go oh, up. Oh yeah, they're you starting to move, yeah. You can see the battery going up. So you have to wait till it fully engages. You hear and the- And what that does, that's just, it's just going through a startup sequence. That's right, that's right. You can hear the, the batteries engaging. And yeah, I hear the relays clicking. I heard a pump come on. Uh, yeah, okay, all right. So we'll close this. Let's do it. All right, she's locked. All so are right. you doing the honors? Oh man, I, I'd love to. All right, well let's do it. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. It's so nice. <laughs> there you go. All right, we're rolling. All right. You know, as many times I've driven so many electric vehicle conversions, I still don't get used to not hearing the sound. Yeah, yeah. All right, be right back. 
Let's check it out. I'm, I'm impressed with not just the fit and finish, but the handling, the, and, you know, the ride. It's so quiet. Yeah, yeah. Because like I said, you know, when you're talking about a 65, 66, you expect to hear the old car noises and the rattles and... And this thing, you I do. bet you it wasn't this nice when it was new. Oh, no, no. Yeah. This is a nice build. It's a beautiful car. And it really shows what's, you know, capable, what, what the, the EV industry is capable of now, you know? And to do it in 10 days, and it can go back to, to stock in, you know, roughly the same amount of time. Dude, I love this wheel. I imagine you could cruise around a fair amount of time on, with, you know, 120, 50 miles of range. This thing is just so smooth. Yeah. It's just a pleasure to drive, you know. It's it just, is. Yeah. And, and like I said, again, you increase the reliability probably tenfold. Yeah. This is a really nice drive. Yeah. Steering's tight. Goes around corners pretty good. Oh yeah, I imagine the handling is really nice. I mean, these were 150 mile an hour cars when yeah. they came out. Oh yeah. Super 150 car. mile an hour car in the 60s. In the 60s, yeah. In 61, it was, Yeah. when it came out, it was supposed to be a 152 mile an hour car. Which is crazy. I haven't touched the brakes yet. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's my favorite part. Is to the one pedal it. driving? Yeah. Yeah. I had them set it to the highest regen because that's how I drive my cars. Yeah. Well, and that's what I do. Like uh, the Hillbilly Deluxe, I got max regen, 100%. Yeah. And when you let off the throttle, it it come to almost a complete stop. So are all your engines rated at that 600, 650 horsepower? Yes, but you can obviously dial it down. Yeah. So this is just an example. You know, you wanted to, you know, let the kids take the car to the prom you could turn that down to you know 100 kilowatts yeah or you know you could crank it up yeah. you want to go to the track yeah. crank it up to 450 kilowatts yeah. and i think we're turning them left yeah. here the 450 kilowatts is that's the uh you know the 600 horsepower yeah yeah this is electric a 1966 jag electric well, that was impressive that he even noticed that it was electric. I That's think funny, these it. young guys. Is this a new electric car? <laughs> so I went to that EV car show that was yeah. in, and these guys, these kids are coming up, they go, as they say, CE type, and they, they yeah. said, oh, is this a oh, new electric, electric type? type? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is. Why, yes, yes it is. I was trying to get a little, you know, without driving too fast, but you know. Let's see how she you know, handles in the curves. Well, there you go. I'm glad your first trip on Coronado was with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And just look how massive that shift is. It's incredible. Dude, I love this thing. I man. do too. It's just I so... do too. I mean, I don't even miss the sound anymore. It's mannered and it's yeah. just, you know. Super smooth, yeah. Well, you know what? I quickly got over because that's one of my favorite things about American Muscle is that that yeah. deep throaty growl, and you yeah. can feel the bass coming through the floor, you know. And now, yeah, I'm totally over it. And what? And now that you know we sell these things, I have to you know be ready to you know to, to sell, rebut yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah. And so they're like, well, I like the sound, I like this. And I was like, yes, Wait I do too. Wait until you get the torque. But it's a different auditory experience. Yeah. Right? Now, I can hear the tires on the ground. You can't hear that with a Monster V8 cackling. Yeah. Right? I can hear when I'm losing traction. Right? And I hear the motor spinning, you know. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that, you know, you don't, take note of because you're you know you're hearing all that racket look at that view though. san diego yeah 
you know, San Diego is one of my favorite places in yeah, the whole world. It really is a beautiful town. And you know what? When I first came here in the 80s for boot camp, this was one of those things where it just, yeah, this is home. Yeah. You know, it just yeah. felt like home. Yeah. I've always yeah. felt like that. Now, how tall are you? You're about my height, right? Six, you know, six one. Six okay, two. all right. I'm six I think one. I'm sh shrunk and, a little bit. And this right here is right in my eye level. I know, mine too. That's why I put these things <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. So I, I drive looking under them, yeah. and then when I get to a light, I look over them. For yeah. The light. That's one of the reasons that I had to have a convertible because, yeah. you know. It's funny, is my little 356 Speedster, yeah. Kelly McGillis style. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, the windshield's up here because I got a 59 when they added two inches to it. Ah, yeah. And that's the tall man's Porsche. Okay. So 1959, they came out one year only, yeah. and it was the, the windshield comes up an extra two inches. Well, man, I really appreciate you, brother. Oh, yeah. I'm serious. This, this is fun. This is going to be a good one. This is definitely a nice ride. I'm going to pull it up here. Are you going to drive her later on? Probably. Okay, then no point in pulling all the way up there. Then. Thank you for your service. Roger that.